Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a silver heart with this beautiful pencil by Kaweco. And I will give it away to one of my subscribers. To participate in the raffle, simply share this tutorial from my Facebook page. The link is in the description under this video. All the details will be in the Facebook page. It will take place this coming weekend. We begin by marking the size we want, the top and the bottom of the heart. It is good to define the size so as to make sure that it will fit where we want it. Then we start sketching the shape. It will be like an ear more or less to this side, like so, or maybe a little bit wider. Yeah, this is better. Very good. Try to draw loosely as much as you can. This heart is not going to be symmetrical. It will have a different shape from one side to the other. And we draw the thickness of it. With an eraser, in this case a kneaded eraser, we can clean up the lines. And to clean it further and sharper, this time I will use one of those pencil erasers that are very fine. I will list the exact materials I'm using in the description under the video. Alright, now we can start shading. Silver, if it is polished, it is very reflective, so we will try to give it pretty good contrast of darks and lights. Wherever we have a change of plane, like an angle, that's a good place to put a reflection. And in this case, I will also darken right here on top. Good! And the dark reflection will begin from down here, at the very bottom and will show us the change of plane again. It is a pleasure working with this pencil. It is a bit heavy and it feels of so much quality. So you know this brand Kaweco is the one I partnered with to create the 203 mechanical pencil. When all the other brands had turned down my idea, it was the owner and CEO of this company, now my friend Mr. Michael Gutterbelet, who said yes, let's do it, and made it possible for the Tutu tree to be born, so I'm very grateful for that. We draw some small reflections that are a little bit curly or distorted to show how the shape of the heart twists. I will now darken further this lower part so that there is more difference with the lighter areas on the upper side. This is looking better, I like it. Our light source is on the top left, so the shadow should be cast like this, in this direction. If you want to learn to draw more surfaces, like gold, reflective chrome, marble, rock, etc., of course I recommend you my book, You Can Draw, Simple Techniques for Realistic Drawing. I leave you the link in the information below the video and you can also find it in bookstores such as Barnes & Noble. Very good! We give it the last touches and it's ready! If you enjoyed the play, give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips and to Patreon. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday.